so this is what you look like. You got a profile shot like this. Pretty much. But that's when I realize when I have my mask on right now and I go out to shut up because no one knows it's me and because I'm loud. And I don't mean it, but it just happens like that. Because I always have to say it. That's a good thing. Like, even with the trailer, it's a good and bad thing. Because I was like, oh, I can't wait. Like, they're going to see how I'm not going to know. And we just had to say one line <laughs> in the interview. And people were like, that's kind of right. I know it is. Ah. So. I had people, and then I was like, okay, I see Insecure, like, they don't really, like, promote, like, guest stars or anything. They tell you what's going on in the show. So I'm like, am I supposed to say that I'm going to be on it? And I was like, okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going, you know, get my post ready from when we were shooting and have all the stuff, which I have hella crazy pictures of us because we were delirious. <laughs> First of all, the group picture that she posted, you posted it, you might have posted it, and Michael, where it looks like it looks like my arm was just getting around somebody. I'm the only one that looks fucked up in that picture, which, which is disrespectful to all I, of us. You know, I, yeah, I try to make sure everybody's cute. It, you did it for that but one. maybe, But maybe because the other picture that I had was we're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like most of yours was like, yeah, because y'all had jokes. I but, we were, this. but we wrapped at like, what, 3 o'clock in the morning? That's what I want to talk about, too. Like, you, <laughs> how, how many days did you end up shooting? Like, three or? Two? I think I shot three. Yeah, I shot three. And the first thing we shot was the painting set. And it was always late. Yes, it was extremely late. I was trying to sit up straight. I also was, because we were on them stools. So I, I felt punched over. And then it was late, so then I was, like, delirious. And, of course, I never sleep. So now I'm like, okay, what are my lines? And then I start messing up on lines. <laughs> but we made it, you know, it was, it was, it was, I think, mo I think that uh, me and the other girls, we were just so excited to be there. And then it was late. And then you always, like, it, it's, it's dope to see you work because, yo, like, if, when I first met you, I was like, Oh, she's so serious. Look at her. She's thinking. Every time. And I'm, like, and I'm like, what's going on? But then when it came time to work, you just hopped up like, hey, girls. Yeah, Pino. And I'm like, oh, okay. So she's not crazy. She just got a lot going on in her brain. That's what's happening. So <laughs> It's crazy because I was so hyped to work with y'all because it was such a lonely episode. Shout out to Lacey Duke who directed right. it. I felt bad because I was like, oh, this is, all, this is the first time that I haven't shot with anybody from the main cast. So I was like, she's gonna have to deal with my act wife. That's so sad for her. But having you guys on set was so much fun because it was finally like that female energy and obviously getting to work with you, I was already so excited. And you know, that with Michael and Iman, it was just, it was, it was just fun. It's like we fell into clowning. Yes, yes, I had, it, it's funny because I didn't work with the other castmates but I remember seeing them at the rap party and then having like a weird moment because I was like, because I know them because I'm a fan of the show. So I know them. But then it's weird for me when I meet people in the industry who I've seen on TV and then I'd be like, I don't talk to them. You don't know them. Like you watch the show. So then at the rap party, um, I was just looking at people and I was like, they don't think I'm crazy because yeah. I'm like wait, do I say hi or, but I was, girl, I was so happy to be a part. Like I've been a fan since the beginning and your energy was amazing to be around. And I'm like, like, and then when you were like, stop playing with me, like, don't do that. And I'm like, girl, don't do that. Like, <laughs> it's, we're both done doing that to each other. Don't do that to me. Take this picture. Let me take, can I take a picture with you? <laughs> No, but I, I just everything that you're doing is amazing as a whole. Like you have your hands in so many different places and to see you carry yourself so well and you're so intelligent and just how you how you make it happen is just so dope. So I was just happy to be a part. I know they called me like, yeah, so insecure. I said, N what? Girl. I said, no, no, no. This is for the culture, honey. I don't care what they talking about. Who I got to play? I said, okay, check the strip. Check the script real quick. And make sure I ain't got to be humping on nobody because I know it's a lot of that going on. See, uh, let, let's see that first. 
and then let's go from there. <laughs> I'm gonna scare by without my problems. Like I would not be here if it weren't for you in in every sense of the word. Like just seeing you on TV as a kid growing up, oh, seeing thank you. Women, like seeing a black Tom boy on screen, <laughs> seeing a great actress who was funny as and just who you like the body of work that you've accomplished over the year like you 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 stay working so i'm just so grateful for your presence and i i know you felt the love like um i obviously was excited to work with you but i also got i was so heartwarmed seeing the response to people seeing you on the episode and getting so excited crazy i'm sitting here like i like i'm like okay do i need to make an announcement on twitter like just thank you so much like i I, like I, 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 and literally after shooting it, I was like, "Oh my God, how did that go?" Because I was so delirious, and we were just laughing and joking and having so much fun. And so I'm waiting for it to come on. Like, oh my goodness, was I was like? <laughs> and so no one, and I'm like, every like black person in the world is gonna see this. <laughs> like, like I, this is everybody's show. So when it came on, and the response that you know, we got, it was just, it was absolutely amazing. And I think I kind of like, I, I, I've been told that I sleep on myself. And I think it's, it's mainly because I just, I, I grew up loving to work. And so I never knew that, you know, people were watching me and feeling that way. So just to be able to be in the industry and come across people like you who aren't Holes, who are people who are just like you know they love the craft they love what they do and they have no problem personality wise you know showing love to other people it's it's not something that we get all the time so when you get it it's like it's amazing like i always prepare myself for somebody being just so hey. i don't snap hey. just so you got to go into the situation like okay so if they act like this no expectation. you gotta behave yourself be you gotta make sure you don't but this, so when you meet somebody in there like it, then it's refreshing because then you're like you've already set yourself up just in case and yeah so when they're cool it's like see man i just did all that for no reason this was so much this is so nice <laughs> that's that's so real that's my approach too i will say i asked you this on set like you know after working with you i was like oh she's so regular and just so cool but like you told me, but I'd love for you to tell everybody else, like what do you, child stars can be crazy. Like you've been working forever. And you know, I think it obviously came from you wanting to work, but mm -hmm. how did you come across? I mean, yeah, how did you maintain your your regularness all these years? Um, I think because, I, I think it's a combination of things because my family is, I've always been treated like, oh, that's Kyla. You know what I'm saying? I was never, put on a pedestal above anyone else and um and and the way that I looked at acting was like oh I get to do this is my after school thing y'all do drill team y'all do this I get to go to auditions you know and I was in regular school up until high school and I think just just remi just remembering that I'm just I'm a normal person who gets to do an extraordinary job and um um and we're all we're all people you know what i'm saying and and it is difficult for so for the child stars who have gone through so many things this business is crazy like i have to constantly like you said like we prepare ourselves for certain situations just in case i'm not cut off guard and then nowadays it's like now that social media is brought into it it's like it's a whole different dynamic because now it's like i just blocked somebody yesterday for saying something on my page that to me was a negative comment and um i was telling my homegirl i was like was i wrong for blocking them no because we, we come from the era where it's like talk get hit like you you're not supposed to just be able to talk and but you can't hit everybody what you gonna find them like what are you gonna, what are you gonna i don't know but that right so then i'll be <laughs> hesitating like huh I'm, well that is my favorite thing in the world is you said you do what mute, mute instead of blocking mute? Yeah. Uh, Instagram, are you talking about on Twitter? Instagram. Oh, yeah. I don't think you can meet people on Instagram. Instagram, you just got to block them. And yes, why not? And I just, yeah, and I just, and then because if you, if you come back at them, then you look crazy for coming back at them. Now you've gotten this person some attention because in the blogs, are going to pick up their negative energy. And then I'm like, Kyla, if you're not spending time to respond to everybody positive on your page, don't give this negative you know um this negative energy any type of don't feed it 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's it's a combination of knowing, like, I can't drive myself crazy, um, trying to uh, maintain, making people happy, trying to maintain work and trying to maintain all these different things and just reminding myself that I'm only, I'm a human being and I have a right to feel a certain way. I have a right to be like, like, it was hard for me to, when I started having, when I, because I have my kids, like, I'm used to, I had a conversation with my man and he's like, everywhere we go, you stop what you're doing to take pictures or to do this or to do that. And then I kind of sat back and was like, I have to make sure that my family is getting yeah. the time that they need from me. Cause at first I'm like, Oh, well they, they, they support me and they watch this. And I guess it comes with the job now. And then, but when I tell people now, I say, you know, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't take pictures when I'm with my children. A lot of people respect it. And a lot of people, I don't get a lot of backlash on it. Cause I remember yeah. one time somebody went online and was like, that she ran over my kid and whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, <laughs> first of all, I would never. <laughs> like, they all like, story. Like, why are you making up story? Why are you lying? Why? So I think, girl, so I think it's just trying to maintain my mental health during this life because this is what I love to do. And so I have to make adjustments whenever things change a little bit and just trying to remind myself that nobody can drive me crazy and I got to stay sane for the people that's going to really remember me when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, but I feel for the child actors who have gone through, so because everybody's experienced different things and I've been blessed enough to not experience some of the things that most of them had, have. Um, so I just, when people post um, about my, In the industry, like other child star friends in the industry? You said, do I? Yeah. Um, not really like close friends, but I still have like acquaintances. Um, and, I, and I have and I, cheetah girls type nemesis. You said what? You don't have like a Raven Simone cheetah girls type nemesis. N nah, I don't. I don't play all that. I I let people know. I'm like, look, ain't nobody popping enough to become an enemy. I don't do that enemy stuff. I don't have time for that. Like I spread love and that's it. If you don't like me, I don't understand why. Cause I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but I, yeah, I was talking to somebody recently about that. It's like, sometimes you get people in the industry that's looking at you crazy cause you competition. And I'm like, girl, I don't have time for this. Uh, you going to get it. Or I'm going to get it. Now I hope you don't get it. Cause something's wrong. With you. Cause you were I don't get it. I hope she get it over there. Cause she was smiling and she was sweet. I love it. Uh <laughs> Well, you obviously got a lot of love. Did you get any, were people in your comments because of how you did? Um, you First of all, I saw you write about how you wish your na you named your character something else because now people are confusing the character with you, right? You said that recently. I did. So say now I kind of got that energy because people was like yelling at me about how I did you up. And that I'm like, y'all, it was the kid. That was me. I was in their comments. I was like, why? <laughs> I, I created a cow. So <laughs> but girl, but they come in, they come in left and right, like y'all raggedy, y'all and left her with Bill, she going through it, and I'm like, I already feel bad. I watched the episode, like I see her crying with her mama, like I'm sorry, but it wasn't me, it was Dana. <laughs> so they banging on me in my comments, and some of them is like, "Ooh, girl, I was so happy to see you, but you were," I'm like, "Damn." <laughs> But I understand that it's because people get so invested in the show. And sometimes I watch shows like that and I get real into it. And I realize that I don't like somebody. And then I'll be like, Kyla, that's not like, don't do that. That's they playing a character. That means they doing it well. You did it well. Y'all were some good. Yeah, like and it was. And it, and then it was funny because people was hitting me like, oh, I thought you was. Uh, I thought you was coming on to be coming on. But now I see you that and left her with the bill. You can't be on no more episodes. I'm like. First of all, who is this? And why are you stopping the possibilities of my future work? <laughs> like, don't put that negative energy out there. Don't do that to me. <laughs> but people are really, like, people really love, like, I, I've gotten a lot of love as well. You know, like, people yeah. are just, like, they, they feel how I felt when I was, like, wait, insecure. Like, this is for the culture. I Like, I'll be an extra walking in the background, like. <laughs> you know, just to be a part, you know what I'm saying? So I was just happy to even to be there. And the girls were so sweet. 
And so, we went through. I, I had I texted them. I'm like, bro, I was like, y'all, we made it through. Because there were so many different things that was going on on that set within those hours. And I was like, we made it. It happened. Everybody had great moments. It was so, like, realistic. Yeah. And, and it was sad because it did feel like you was making new friends. I know. I felt that way, like, when y'all had to leave, too. I was like, I still got more episodes. Lacey, you still need me? Like, we still have more. <laughs> when y'all finished mad late, I remember I was sleeping in the truck. And they <laughs> body, y'all, like, y'all done? Y'all y'all don't want to, like, just chill tomorrow? I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, we done? I had already told you because I, I had stalked you at Revolt that weekend. That's right. I like, yeah, because I saw we worked together on set, and then I went to Revolt the uh, the next day, and you had a you did you did a talk uh, with Melina, and mm -hmm. I was like, so um, you on my Snapchat because I was in y'all, I was learning stuff in y'all in y'all in y'all thing y'all was talking about. Just let you know, I was I was with you this weekend, and you was like, what? <laughs> So yeah, so nobody wanted to leave you too. <laughs> so real for for people who were watching, what would you have done in that situation? Because I know what I would have done. What? No, I want to know what you would have done. Like as far as like the dine and dash situation, because I know everybody was mad that the dream sequence wasn't real. Well, if she had rolled up, so this is what I would do. I would I would follow y'all for sure, and a lot of people didn't know that. When Issa pulled up, th those weren't the girls. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think she punked out, but if she would have punked out anyway, but those weren't the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, one, either thrown water on y'all or some, like, um, some bleach. I would have found something if I saw y'all on the street. Like, I would have thrown <laughs> my car or scared mm -hmm. y'all. I'm trying to run y'all over. I'm very violent. Mm -hmm. Or I would have found out what, what hotel y'all were staying at or y'all were staying at and then called reinforcements. Because it was mm, yeah, because you was by yourself. You could have got jumped. Yeah, and I don't know who y'all know. Um, even though y'all are from L.A. I mean, y'all were busy in L.A. Uh, but, yeah, it, it would be about calling reinforcements. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I think, it, I mean, it, you said what? What about you? Um, see, that's hard for me because I'm real stranger dangerous. So I don't even know if I would have sat down with them in the first place. I'd have been like, I don't know where they from. They can just, mm -mm. I'm real, like, I, I look at every situation. But if I would have, like, randomly sat down and they would have ran out, I probably would have been driving around the area for at least an hour looking for somebody <laughs> while I was calling cousins, while I was calling somebody because. It's urgency, you guys. Come pull up now, please. There's no way you can just let something like that go. It's Especially with, like, social media nowadays. So you know somebody posting, so now everybody else will know that you got like bamboozle and now other people don't think they can bamboozle you because you, you I feel like y'all were definitely like we about to get this ah, look, look, look. I have don't nobody do anything right now without taking pictures it's true it's true so maybe I would have got a picture at the table just in case because I'm paranoid so I would have been like just in case they do do something now I got a picture of y'all you hmm? would it and say okay something might go down click 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 I always think somebody trying to do something so that's why you really took pictures on set because you were like just in case you go down just in case it. I gotta remember who who what you do okay okay you know uh, I feel that so I have a question I have a question okay where did the idea of you talking to your mirror come from? Cause I know you like, you you be flowing with the mirror, y'all like that's, your mirror is your, is your best girlfriend. Like where did you, like how did you come up with it? Well, it came from uh, listening to Nicki Minaj back in the day. Like mm -hmm. as a nine when Nicki used to do the, when, when she used to rap like the -da -ba -da -ba, like that. Yes. <laughs> when she used to rap like what? You got I it. used to do it. No, don't even trip. You got it. No, it. it was it was jumping. I didn't see. I, I didn't hear it. I used to rap like bad wife. <laughs> so like I used to like do her verses in the mirror, but at the same time I was coming up with this concept for awkward black girl, and thought it would be funny to have her rap in the mirror. And I just always liked that element and wanted to bring it to insecure, and because it was about this character who couldn't be real in the real world, but you're always real with yourself in the bathroom. Like there's you can't lie to yourself in the mirror and uh i just found that funny and it always fascinated me and with the season 
you got to you get to see Issa's relationship with the mirror progress. Yeah, she becomes you know secure or. Um, the more she becomes uh, confident with herself. But I think now it's so important because she doesn't have her girl. She doesn't have yeah. mom. And uh, her mirror is the person she vents to and she talks to. And her, her mirror is tied to her book, too. But, that, and, but I love that because I feel like we all need to talk to ourselves to get to know ourselves more before we put ourselves, like, out into the outside world. So... That's why I always thought it was super dope because I don't know about anybody else, but I talk to myself in the mirror. And it's awesome. usually when I'm telling myself I need to get my together. Really? So, so that's to, it, like just in the mirror, or do you talk to yourself around the house too? Um, I not all the time, but usually if I'm talking to myself around the town, I'm try like I'm trying not to lose it or snap on somebody. And so I have to talk myself down, like out of doing something. I know I'm not supposed to be doing or talk or cussing somebody out or speaking to somebody a certain way. I'm trying to think of like the best way to approach the situation. So at that time, yes, me and myself are going back and forth out loud. <laughs>